Hello, this is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. We're going to be painting summer flowers over a red background. Let's get started. The first thing I did is I applied this red nail polish color by icing over my entire nail. It's called Glitz and Glam. This is the brush brand and size I'm going to be using to paint my flowers. The two colors I chose for my flowers is a pink and a white. These are both by Apple Barrel. I'm going to begin by loading my brush half in the color pink and the other half in the color white. Now I'm just going to touch my plate causing pressure to my brush going towards one direction. I'm going to flip my brush and do the same exact thing. I do this several times because this will assure me my brush will be fully loaded and that there's a smooth transition between the two colors. I'm going to begin painting my first flower petal. I'm just touching, tapping, 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 going upwards at an angle. Then I begin going back down. This leaves a perfect little flower petal. So I'm going to be doing this several times going all around because I'm going to be painting a five petal flower. Any color you choose for your flowers is going to look great. I think even a dark purple and a white would look fantastic. So as you can see here, the technique is just going upwards at an angle, tapping, tapping, and then going back down. And there's my five petal flower. Now I'm going to be painting a three petal flower. These are going to be a little bit thinner and longer, but it's basically the same tapping technique. So I'm just doing the same thing, two flower petals side by side, and the third one's gonna be a little bit higher. Now sideways, I'm gonna be adding one last flower petal using the same technique. Now over the bottom area, I'm going to be painting a three petal flower using the same exact technique, the tapping technique going upwards and then bringing the brush back down. Now it's time to add green leaves to our design. I'm going to be using this acrylic paint by Apple Barrel called Leaf Green along with a white color. To paint my leaves I'm using the same exact tapping technique. I'm going upwards and then bringing my brush back down. And you can add as many or as little green leaves as you'd like. And just practice this technique over a piece of paper if you think you'll have difficulty, but it's just a fun, easy way of painting flowers and leaves. I'm tapping, going upwards, and then bringing my brush back down at an angle as well. You can also decide to add the color yellow instead of the color white. That also looks very nice as well. Next, I'm going to be using a striper brush in a size short. Here I'm showing you how I load my striper brush. Some of you guys asked me if I could show you and all I'm doing is just going over the paint and then painting lines over my little plate. So I'm just going to start painting those thin green lines starting from the center of my flowers going outwards. You can add as many as you'd like or as little as you'd like as well. Starting in the center of my flowers going outwards. In the center of my flowers, I'm going to be adding a tiny drop of clear coat. You can also use nail glue if you'd like. And I'm going to be placing in the center of each of my flowers a crystal in a three millimeter size. I'll remember to list everything I used for this nail art design under this video in the description section. And that's it. Apply your top coat and your design is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and try out this nail art design. I also want to remind you guys that starting the month of July, I'm going to be changing my upload days from Fridays to Mondays. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.